washing through this dirty one. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you well, doing? here, if you've got a camera on it, it's going to be six minutes of washing film. I What's usually do something like that. It's getting rid of the hypo. Mm -hmm. It's getting it nice and squeaky clean. Why do you need to be squeaky clean? So that it doesn't disintegrate years later. Mm. Do you see if that is just a long time to think about that? You know, like during your lifetime after you have Yeah, I think so. It's not a conscious choice that it will last a long time, I just assume it does. Because other photographs do? Or... I suppose so. You don't suppose so. You must have a theory about them. Oh, it's uh, a life cereal. Rich. What? I'm being rich. What did you just see? I just saw a lovely quilt. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to be able to have them, you know, just to... Oh, wait. I've got to show you. The reason I took this, well, besides oh, these beautiful buildings... Oh, this is... Because what you can do, now most paint is just in acrylic semi-gloss, but what you can do is get a uh, acrylic lacquer put on over it, which is what I've done recently, is to spray on an acrylic lacquer over it. It gives me much more of a gloss. Yeah. Can you, you show me that room? Can I have a tour of that room? This room? No, Paula's room. room. Oh, but it's such a mess. Let me just wash the lettuce over here. Or are you just going to stand there? Uh, there's not much to show. There's the closet. There's some of my books. Looks there's like great for you. a wood burning stove that hasn't been installed yet. Who's going to install it? Whoever wants to. What? Whoever wants to for a price. Uh, my uh, boudoir up here through the stairs. <laughs> Did you go up there for a minute for me? Do you have time for the uh, I suppose so. <sighs> TV, candles, a heart and a hammer, telephone essential to be by the bed and in the lawn. What do you read up there? Hmm? What do you read up there? I've just finished Serpentine by Thomas Thompson. That was, did you get the message on the phone about, um, I love this one, coincidence of traced far enough back becomes inevitable. Mm -hmm. An inscription on a Hindu temple near New Delhi and quoted by Carl Gustav Jung. It's a great book that I just finished. I was recommended The Heart of the Matter by Graham Greene, which I haven't read yet. And Box of Roses That Just Fell, Another Year in Africa, which I also haven't read yet. Both have been recommended. Who wrote Another Year in Africa? Uh, Rose Zwick. No newspapers, periodicals, or political tracts? 
over on this side. What do you have? Wait a sec, wait a sec. Wait, don't go away. Now, what was the question about news, newspapers, periodicals, magazines? Political? The track. What? I have the Globe, April 6th issue. I have, this is a camera magazine, Arts in America. I do have political. I knew you were. Periodical. Right. Camera work from London. It's usually about Ireland. And a very old Mother Jones. 1980 of November, to be exact. Do you, should I read you all the books that I have up here? <coughs> Can I ask you a question? <laughs> sure. Where'd you get your pink candles? Um, I got them at a Safeway. They're wonderful. Thank you. Okay. I have, okay, we'll start with the paperbacks. Cat's Cradle, Canary, The Courageous and Moving Story of a Transsexual. <laughs> we have Poet, a little dusty here. Half of these have been read already. Poet in New York by Federico Garcia Lorca. Harriet the Spy, which I carry with me everywhere. Dispatches by Michael Hare, The Onion Eaters by uh, Don Levy, The White Hotel by D.M. Thomas, Poems again by Lorca, a very excellent book called By Reason of Insanity by John Bolt, Bolt, Bolt. and Sex and History. What's Sex and History? Well, oh, that's a new publication. Yeah. Oh, you got it. All my book clubs have been sending me ads for that. It's actually... Is it's, it worth getting? You know, I think any book on sex is worth getting because it's, if That's it's true. not stupid, it's humorous. Uh-huh. Um, you know, they have, it's sectioned off into different parts in the beginning, prehistoric world, the first civilizations, Asia until the Middle Ages. Uh, and it's basically attitudes. I guess I should get that. Definitely one of my more favorite subjects. Mine too. History? <laughs> or sex? <laughs> Both. Did you ever meet Canary? No, but I saw her at that little club in, in the Blah Blah. Uh huh. In, in, and I saw God, her. God, I met her about 10 years ago when it was very recent. She was gorgeous. She was tall. Blonde. Blonde. Down blonde here. hair, yeah. And hands that were twice the size of mine, I think. But she was very feminine. Yes. Now I could see her working as a secretary in somebody's office and just... Like at Century City? Yeah, I thought of Century City. Either there or North Hollywood, maybe Universal City. Can I make lunch now? Nice and naughty.